All right, 11.3. This is probability involving and, and usually when we see the word and, that tells us to multiply. All right, so this one says from the sample space S, which is the numbers one, two, three, dot, 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 up to 15. Um, a single number is selected at random. Given event A, that the selected number is even, and event C, that the selected number is prime, find the probability of A and C. All right, so <clears throat> this will be easy to see with a Venn diagram, so let's do this. I'm going to draw it out. So A is the event that is even, and C is prime. All right, so the only even number that's prime is two, all right? Um, and then everything else will be four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14. So in circle A are all the even numbers, two is prime. Two times one is two, that's the only number, or the only numbers that you can multiply to get two. One in itself. Has to be two different numbers. Two is the only even prime number. All right, C consists of the other prime numbers. So that would be three, five, seven, I don't know why I put a comma, three, five, seven, 11, and that would be it. So these are prime. So and consists of the overlap. <clears throat> so that's only one number, the number two out of 15. So the way we write that probability of A and C, sometimes we use this upside down U shape kind of like an N, that's what kind of reminds me of A and C. The probability of that is one number, the number two out of 15 numbers all together. So the probability and means both. <clears throat> all right, number two says from the sample space, one through 15, a single number is selected. Given A, the number is even. B, the number is a multiple of four. Find the probability of A given B. Okay, so A given B is conditional probability. All right, so let me show you what this is. Probability, this is read A, probability of event A, given that B has already happened. It's always equal to the intersection of these two, so it's A intersect B, and I'm gonna put a little N right here, that means the number of elements in this set, and then always over the number of elements in whatever comes after that. So the number of elements in the set B. All right, so let's start with A. Let me draw a Venn diagram, that might help us see what's going on. So here's A, here's B, <clears throat> All right, so A, the number is even, B is a multiple of four. So even multiples of four would be four, eight, and 12. Even numbers would be two, six, 10, 14. Uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So those are all even numbers in A. B, the number is a multiple of four. So four, eight, 12, that's it. So all the multiple, I really could draw this differently. This really looks like this. A better way of drawing it, this is circle A, and then this is circle B. Everything that's in A is also in B. So four, eight, 12. This whole circle is contained in A. And then two, six, 10, 14. This is a better way of drawing it, okay? As far as the Venn diagram. So, <clears throat> the number of elements in A and B, the intersection, would be one, two, three, the four, eight, 12. All right, the number of elements, sorry, why did I write four? There's only three. Three numbers, the four, eight, and 12. So I think I said four, that's why I was writing the four. Number of elements in A and B, the intersection, is three. The number of elements in the set B by itself is three. So what this is, the probability 
that you get an even number given that you got something that's a multiple of four and all these are also even tells us three out of three which is equal to one so it's a hundred percent chance you're guaranteed that the number is even if it's a multiple of four that's what this says okay so just one